Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and in today's video, I want to talk about this new update, relatively new, about how you can use CMS to display uh, content from collections directly on Wix Store's product pages. So this is an update here in the News Center, and I want to show you how you can enable this for your own Wix Studio website. So I've got my website here and I have the products uh, app turned on. I have Wix Store. So that's the first step is if you want to use this for your products, you have to have this Wix Stores app installed in order for it to work because that's what you need to be able to use those product pages. So let me show you how you can turn on the CMS for that. So you're going to go over here to CMS. You would also have to have this added to your site as well. Um, so normally when I use CMS, I go to main, I'm doing something here, I go to your collections and I'm doing something inside a collection, but there's this little uh, section right here under your collections and manage. And if you click uh, open this page, then you have your collections here and then it shows the Wix form collection. So if you're seeing this kind of view with the search bar and everything, that's the right place to be. And then you want to click more actions and then you get this advanced settings. So as soon as you're here in advanced settings, you can turn on these Whip, Wix app collections. So if I toggle this on, then it allows me to be able to connect my CMS with these uh, apps. So like Wix stores, for example, or events like it says here. So I have this on now. So now if I were to go to a collection, let me just show you what this would look like. So I have in here a course. This is a course list, um, but it'll work for this example. So let's say that I want to add my uh, product pages. I want to add this, this collection to my product pages. So I'm going to go in and choose the field type. I'm going to do a reference here. And when I do the reference field, then I'm going to select which one I want to reference. And you can see as I scroll, there's actually other apps here. There's the Wix app collections. So I want to find the one that says stores and then products. So it's a little bit misleading. If you look at e-commerce, that's what you might think it might be under. It's actually going to be under stores. And then inside of stores, you have products here. So you click save and then you can reference one of the products with this data. So what we would actually do here after this is we would reference the specific product and then we would go in and put a rich content uh, uh, field on that product page and then we could display data on that, that product itself. So we're referencing the product now and we could, we could uh, display this data that's shown here in this collection. So let me show you um, what, what I mean by that. So let me go over to my product page so I'm in my store pages and my product page. So this is where the CMS is currently connected that I'm referencing. So you typically with the product page, you have these uh, typical sections here, like the description and the, the price and SKU and all these things. But you can add a new section here and then you can connect this section to your data set. So your rich, uh, rich content can be connected here. So I'm gonna do that actually, I'm gonna go here and I'm going to add a, um, a rich content section. So I'm going to go to add content elements and then rich content. So I have my box here. Again, if you haven't ever used that before, it's under main and then it's under add content elements. And then you can add the rich content here. And then what I would do is I would just connect this to my data set that has that that product that I'm referencing. So, so if I click this, if I'm going to connect this, I have to add a data set here. I had it in the course list and then I'm going to create this data set and then it's not connected to anything right now. I'm going to connect it to rich content. So you can see that all of a sudden now in my product page, I have the ability to connect this rich content field, um, these resources, uh, now what I would typically use this for is not something like a course list, but maybe additional content I want to talk about for this product. So if it was a t-shirt, for example, then I might want to have additional sections here about uh, maybe additional videos. Maybe I want to have uh, just text explaining the different features. Um, and you have these presets over here, but this gives you more 
uh, flexibility to create additional content here. So if I go into my my uh, my collection and I look at my course list, um, this is what it's pulling in here is this rich content here. And the cool thing about rich content is is you can kind of create whatever you want. So you can add images, videos, um, dividers. You could have this whole section. You can add a lot of different things in here, text. Um, so you could create these different product sections um, and I believe you can even add you can add files, you can add code. I was gonna say I, I think you might be able to add a gallery of images. I'm not seeing it here at the bottom but you might be able to, oh here it is right here. So if you wanted to add another gallery of images here as well. And now this can be done dynamically. So um, if I were to change this to say something like um, let's change this to say uh, t-shirt resources and let's just pretend that these are files for t-shirts we could change out this image here with a t-shirt and see if we have some kind of cool picture here so we could have maybe it's a t-shirt resources how we make our t-shirts and you could even add that text here how we make our t-shirts and then you could add in the information about that and you could have that be a bold heading and then paragraph underneath it um, so you could do something like this how we make our well it's a little bit big how we make our t-shirts and then you could add in let's just add in some content AI um, write me a quick paragraph about how we make our t-shirts I'm gonna say how we manufacture I didn't spell that right but manufacture and so this will create this text I'm gonna insert this I'm gonna get rid of these files just so you can see how we could build upon what we have here. I'm going to make it more like this is going to be kind of an additional section here. And then we could even add another section here that says um, we focus on style. And then this could be another heading. I think that was a heading five. So let's do that. And then add in our image here. Again, just using Wix, um, we'll do something fun with this one, something that looks kind of different. Um, so this could be, and we could use AI, AI again to write something here, um, a graph about how we focus. And then once this is done, then you could do this for every product that you have and you could manage it dynamically through CMS. So, um, so let me show you what this is starting to look like now, now that we have it focused on the product that is actually there. So if this is our t-shirt, I'm just gonna preview this now. Here's our t-shirt. We have this section that you know every product has, but now we have a dynamic section that goes into more about how we make our t-shirts and we focus on style and then it could keep going down and scrolling. So this is the really cool uh, thing about uh, CMS for products is that you can make these additional sections that in the past you wouldn't be able to do because um, you're normally limited to this kind of basic uh, e-commerce product description uh, but now you can really uh, go into more detail about each product and then all we would have to do to do this for our other products is we just go to that um, collection that we were on this course list. Even though we'd probably want to change this to some kind of product specific thing, we would just go to the next one and add in our rich content here. And then we would reference which product it goes with. So that's why this reference field is so important. And then we would be able to reference whatever product we have here.
So I, I think this is a really cool feature and you can use it on any product page you want once you get it set up like we did here and we were able to use the rich content section to display this, con this uh, custom content on this product page. And then this works like any regular element. So I can, it's right now it's not aligned to center, I can align it to center. I could give my section here some padding um, and make sure that it's gives it some space here so it's formatted better and then I have it on the layers panel here as well I could rename this to my CMS CMS uh, data set here so that I know what section I'm editing and then I like rich content because rich content just allows me to put in here whatever I want to and I can kind of make it go um, go it as in depth or as little as needed and it, you can make the rich content unique to pro every, every product so um, for example this one might have uh, these t-shirt t-shirt resources but the next product might have um, video content and reviews and other things that you could do in here so so many options just want to show you how you can get that set up it really doesn't take too long. It just is, is hard to find if you've never done it before. Um, and it allows you to do that much more with, with products inside of Wix Studio. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video.